Were, were, were you surprised today that you were going to be honored yeah. at the Palm Beach County Commission? <laughs> well, minute when I walked in, it looked like a, a court. Like a court hour. But, you, look, dude, you look like you were in there in court. Yeah, I, I, ain't, look, I, ain't, I ain't fight nobody. I ain't. Sock passe, you beautiful mammals. I'm Wilkin Brutus. I'm with WLRN, South Florida's NPR station. And I want to talk about a man named Hubba Bubba. If you know, you know. But since many of you don't know, I want to take you behind the scenes of this profile story that I produced in the fall of 2023. It's a story about resilience, optimism, and joy. Much needed joy, especially here in Palm Beach County. The local saying goes, you ain't from Palm Beach if you don't know Hubba Bubba. His real name though is Jamar Battle. He's a 36 year old man who lives with developmental disabilities ever since he was a kid, ever since he was a little jit, he's been dancing and putting smiles on people's faces. And he's known in pockets throughout South Florida, but especially in West Palm Beach for performing at his favorite bus stop, a Palm Tran public transit bus stop near his grandmother's home. He's constantly having these impromptu conversations with strangers, freestyle rapping and freestyle singing, gospel music, all of those sort of um, interactions with the public made him go viral on TikTok and Facebook. And he has turned into this community celebrity, but he's always been this community celebrity, especially in West Palm Beach. But people driving their cars, walking and riding their bikes, waving, taking pictures of Hubba Bubba, having random conversations with him, typically didn't know the story behind Hubba Bubba, the story behind the man, his family, his humanity, his sense of purpose for intentionally spreading positive energy in the community, or how his mother was often conflicted or is often conflicted by the constant attention, especially in regards to his safety. I mean, he is communicating with perfect strangers after all. Um, but Hubba is a man of faith and he was constantly reminding me of that. And he's always reassuring his mother that the community protects him, that the community has his back. And it's one reason why I think he's attached to gospel music. It's that underlying faith that keeps him going. And he actually sung to me at his grandmother's home. One of his favorite songs, Never Would Have Made It by Marvin Sapp. Never would have made it. You know, you know how it goes. Never would have made it. Never would have made it without you. Executives at Palm Tran, which is our public transit system, and Palm Beach County commissioners heard my story and decided to honor Hubba recently with a county proclamation. Y you can't make this up. <laughs> here, here is a clip of uh, Palm Beach County Commissioner Mac Bernard honoring Hubba Bubba at a recent Palm Beach County Commission meeting. Now, my, my last conversation with, with Mr. Clinton Forbes was, he called me on a Tuesday and asked me that to recognize Hubba Bubba. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed by the Board of County Commissioners of Palm Beach County, Florida, assembled in regular session this fifth day of December, 2023, that the board hereby recognizes Jamar Hubba Bubba battle for displaying tremendous resilience and bringing joy to Palm Beach County residents and visitors. Can everyone please stand to give Hubba Bubba a recognition? Hubba told me he dedicated his county proclamation to his family, to the community who supports him, and especially to the late executive director of Palm Tran, Clinton B. Forbes. Clinton B. Forbes, who died suddenly last month before he could honor Hubba Bubba. I thank y'all so much for honoring me today. I wasn't looking towards for this, but I was just doing it for fun, but I really ne I I didn't know this here was gonna take place. I'm glad I made it this 
this far because a lot of people gave up and said, look, he's not going to be this. He's not going to be that. I said, look, I might not be what you don't want. I might not be something now, but God got some in store for me. Because sometimes you can't rush out there. So I think everybody out here that watch me, that honor me, that protect me, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I ain't going to never change. You know, Man. a lot of, some people, you need to go home. <laughs> your, your, your time being is over. So people want you to go home and yeah. stop performing, you but ate, you won't you, stop. You ate. You drunk, you drunk good. <laughs> now you should be good. Your dancing days are over with. Your dancing days. You pop locking on them. I said, well, no. I, I'm not ready. Well, we ready. Yeah. We ready for you to leave. Right. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Hubba. And um, I wish you all the best, man. One love. God bless you. <laughs> At his grandmother's home, he performed his classic freestyle for me, the one that made him popular since his Forest Hill high school days. If you don't know Hubba Baby Baby Bubba, you can't be not from Palm Beach. You can't be from Palm Beach if you don't know Hubba Bubba 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 in the street. I personally met Hubba Bubba back at Forest Hill High School in West Palm Beach, right before he transferred to Palm Beach Lakes High School. And he's always been this community celebrity that brought joy and light into every single room he walked into. And so my philosophy has always been, giving flowers to people is always in season. So keep planting seeds, water your garden, and cultivate those relationships. My name is Wilkin Brutus, I'm with WLRN, South Florida's NPR station. And remember, stay hydrated, baby. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Oh, okay, I need, I need to turn this off. You better drink some water, though. I'm watching you. Stay hydrated.